My name is Allison Quimby. I work for the City of Wilmington in the Public Works Department in the Water Quality Lab and I specialize in water quality. This video is going to be super cool. Just wait. It's going to teach you how we get the water right from the river to your tap. So this is actually the very beginning of our process. This is the raceway. We divert the Brandywine River to a smaller stream so that we're able to take off large debris like tree trunks and other trash right before it goes into the plant. So this is the very first stage of our treatment process where the Brandywine River water comes directly into our plant and then it becomes raw no longer. Right behind me are our sedimentation basins. They act in a way where the water snakes through our plant and we actually add a chemical that clumps together with organic material such as leaves or grass or dirt and it helps the material settle down as it makes its way through the snaking sedimentation basins. So right behind me is actually our pumps. They pump the water after they're in the sedimentation basins all the way to our membrane filters. So you can see these really huge pipes right here. That's actually working its way over to our filters. The process that we're about to see now is really the heart of the system where it actually filters out the finer particles in the water. We have four microfiltration racks to accomplish that task for us and each microfiltration rack is capable of treating up to 3.4 million gallons. And what occurs is the water passes through each individual module and the module filters any particle that is larger than one micron. The human hair is 65 microns in diameter, so that can give you some idea of the minuscule particles that we can filter from the water. So this, um, this machine actually helps us find out how much organic material is left over after we filter. It's a good way to find out how well our plant is actually filtering the water. And this machine is so important because a lot of times when we add chlorine, we want to make sure we add exactly the right amount. Sometimes chlorine can mix with organic material, like leaves and stuff like that, and that it can actually create DBPs, which are disinfectant byproducts and they can be cancer causing. So this machine is amazing. We actually recently just bought it. It's about a year old and it is awesome. The only thing it doesn't do is rub your back. It's amazing. We really love it. <laughs> so we actually take 123 samples every month, which means we are going into your homes and your businesses, making sure that your water is safe. The EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, they are like the mom and dad for everybody. They make all the rules and the regulations that we have to follow. So one of the things is they set out how many samples we actually have to take depending upon how many people we actually deliver water to. So we serve 110,000 customers. And that goes beyond just the city of Wilmington itself. We go all the way up to 202. We go to almost to Ellesmere and we almost go to New Jersey. So these are all of our sample bottles. We take plant samples every day. So these are actually the different stages that we are in our process. So from the very first one, which is raw, that's right from the river. And then it goes to rapid mix, which is the very first stage that we start adding chemicals. After we've filtered everything, which is the very most important part, this is all of our filters combined together. And then right after we filter, we add our chemicals that make sure there's no bacteria. And then this is what we drink. Starting at the very end of June, you guys should all be looking for your consumer confidence report. 
So the CCR is something that the EPA, which I spoke about before, requires us to distribute to our customers. It has all of our samples for the entire year in a pamphlet like this. But yours will be on a website so we can save paper and be green. There's a URL that you guys can find on the actual postcard that you can find all of our information. So we go from information that's just super cool to learn, like bottle versus tap, to something interesting, like all of our sample results, to something even cool for kids. So we really work hard to make this interesting and also informative. Look for it when it comes at the very end of June, early July. Thanks for watching this WITN informational video.